What's up guys, it's D Brown with Trackheads and today we're going to be going over the different warm-ups and drills and dynamic stretches that we can do to have a successful track meet and or a hard practice. So today we're going to be going over A skips. As you saw in the previous video, A marches are like the precursor for A skips and A skips is like adding a little bounce to it, you're adding a little dynamic movement to it. You want to make sure that you're snapping down against the track to go into your very next uh, step. So. Um, as we go along, or I'm going to do the drill and then we're going to talk about some of the different cues that you notice and that you can see so that I can give kind of an explanation towards them, all right? So as I'm doing this drill, it's very similar to A March, except I'm, I'm basically taking a, a very dynamic step as I'm doing the drill. So it's the very same posture, straight up posture core tight, belly button drawn in. The same posture as when you're doing A march, except you're adding a little bounce to it. So A skip is just like A march, except you're adding a little bounce to it. You're trying to land under, land under your center of gravity with the balls of your feet, toes up, posture still the same. Your belly button is still drawn in, core tight, and you want to make sure that you have the same cues, the same exact cues you do when you're running. So you want to make sure, like I said, you're tall, using active arms, active shoulders and you also want to make sure that your knees come up as soon as they come up you should them back down I just bring it back around so i can show you from a different perspective maybe from my left side so like i said it's the same exact thing when you're doing this drill you want to make sure that your toes are up you're snapping it down how to apply force to the ground in a very dynamic way the same way that I would do when I'm running track all right so it's like you have to count it on up catch it it's your rhythm catching it on a bounce and applying force straight down into the ground all right so like I said excellent drill to do before track meet before practice reinforces a lot of important things that you need in track and field to make sure that you apply force to the ground posture active core uh, posture with your toes, keeping your toes up, ankle, cock, toes, dorsal flex, and a lot of those important things that you need to be successful in track and field. But like I said, we're going to be giving you more and more content as we go along to help you guys in your track meets and your practices. This is Deep Brown with Trackheads. Peace.